Hello and welcome back to the Western Wilds. Our first field is ready for planting, so we're going to get the MB track seeding at the winter wheat. Meanwhile, the flower needs unloading from the windmill and the silage needs loading into the BGA. Let's get farming. First thing we need to do today, though, is head up to the shop because before we can actually get seeding, we need some seed. We've got a little bit left in our cedar from last time from when we did the grass uh, but it isn't a huge amount and to be honest i think we might need to grab a bag of fertilizer as well especially considering half this field is going to require double the amount of fertilizer we would normally have so let's bring this round here and park this up i'm gonna open the back of this so when they bring the fertilizer out, we can get it immediately loaded into the back of our truck. There we go. Turn this off. So we'll head into the shop. We'll put that away. And looking at this, we actually have a decent dump trailer available today to purchase. Uh, that herbis trailer is really nice and would go very nice on the back of the... Uh, MB track and I think takes up to 14,000 liters. If we make enough money today, uh, then we might go and grab this because this would be a quite a useful piece of kit for our farm. However, uh, what we do need to go and grab is some pallets. Uh, we want to grab a pallet of the solid fertilizer, 750 liters. So details on that and buy one of those. We might have to pick up another one of these later, possibly. And then on top of that, I also want to pick up a pallet of seeds. So we'll buy that too. Hasn't been horribly expensive, but it has been an amount that uh, we could have possibly done without spending. All loaded up into the back of our truck very nicely for us as well. So we'll just clamp those down. Clamps the seeds down properly, but not the fertilizer, which I always find interesting. We will then close up the back. Oh, we need to start up the engine to do that, apparently. And away we go. So da back down to the farm. Uh, we will pull up behind our cedar and get that reloaded. And I think, actually, we might need to put some fuel into the MB track as well. You can tell it's getting quite late in the year because the shadows are so long at half past eight in the morning. Uh, actually, we might be able to pull this up alongside and uh, do this. Yeah, there we go. So let's pull the back open and then jump out and we can get this loading up. I'm going to put some fuel in this first while we're here and while it's turned off. So that is filling up that nicely. We should then be able to fill up first with fertilizer and then with seeds. So, yeah, that has filled up both of those and given us some that is uh, extra on top. And put this into forward and we'll head out to the field. We'll set this going again. I think we'll use course play as we've got a defined field for this one and very easily get this going while we come back with the David Brown. I actually don't think we're going to need more than one headland with this either. Of course, to create like that, we only need one headland with the width of this. And we'll do the center first. Generate me a course. Yeah, that has not got many lines on it at all. So uh, down to the far side of the field. I'm not going to drive all the way over all of this plow. Uh, we'll just drive down here like this. And this should take no time at all for this. Uh, it's, it is a pity that we weren't able to get this fully uh, fertilized as I was hoping. Uh, so it is going to cost that little bit more. But as long as this fertilizer lasts the whole way across this field, we should be fine. Bring this to here. First waypoint, and away it goes. It immediately started seeding, but it's getting the job done. We're going to have to roll this as well today, so the sooner this does this, the better. 
And that means it's time to get our David Brown out. Now, what I want to start with is sorting out our flower. We've got quite a fair amount of it sitting in the windmill along with a load of unprocessed soybeans because basically it's run out of space so i'm gonna get our rear forks on this and get these moved i'm very much beginning to err towards getting uh getting this to work or getting something other than this uh, it was a nice idea, but it's it's not really working that well for me. Uh, either a set of three point ones of these, or uh, possibly actually just biting the bullet and getting a front loader on here. Again, not something I was looking to do. I wanted to do something a little bit different on this series, uh, but yeah, I think it's I think it's gonna have to be a. a Oh, a, uh, a front loader. It just works that much easier. This is really, really annoying <laughs> to use most of the time. And I'd, uh, I think I'd rather have something else. Not that it can't be used. Not that it's completely unusable. It's just a little bit of a pain compared to other ways. I'm very much used to to driving this forwards and, and turning the wheel a certain way and it and it working whereas this when i want to go backwards i need to go forwards and when i want to go forwards i need to go backwards with it attached to the back of this and it ends up being too confusing at times this might be the last one we're gonna grab from the windmill for now because the other one that's sitting here might not be a full pile. I need to just check that quickly. Sometimes it, it does put partial ones out here. But let's just see what's that. No, that is a full one, so we'll move that as well. We can't check how much uh, the sorghum has created, how much flour the sorghum's created yet. Because it's still processing. There's still about 6,000 liters, which is nearly half of it. Uh, still to process through, uh, which is a fair old amount, especially as we seem to have almost doubled the amount of flour we've got already. I mean, there is... So we had, I think it was 9,500 litres roughly. Uh, there's 18,000 litres here, I'm fairly sure. What, three by six, yeah. 18,000 litres with stuff still to process. I will go and double check that, uh, but I'm pretty sure that we've doubled it. And in here, yeah, we've still got nearly 7,000 liters of sorghum to go. Uh, we are up to 500 liters of flour out of here. So yeah, there's a fair amount of flour to go. I think the sorghum is gonna prove to be a very, very profitable way for us to create flour. Uh, it, it seems to be going through at an incredible rate. I will double check that in a moment, um, but for now, certainly, yeah, we seem to be in a very good place thanks to that sorghum. The other question we got today is how much silage has been created from our grass yesterday we go and have a look in here you can see that uh with the grass silage all done and through we've got a hundred and eighteen thousand five hundred and eighty one liters uh that should be nearly sixty thousand pounds that we're gonna get off this today as well that is incredibly good i am so happy about the level that we should get just gonna make sure that our bga is turned off we're not we're gonna process all of this overnight we'll fill as much up as we can now uh with thirteen thousand liters a go it's gonna take us 11 loads to get this in so uh shouldn't take us too long to do that it's a fairly swift journey and yeah, we're looking good. We're looking like we're going to be making a lot of money on this farm over the next couple of months, which is just going to make a massive difference. 
Uh, we should have a completely different farm by uh, New Year. The MB track is coming up to the end of the field. It's just heading around to start its headlands. Looks to be a bit of a gap at the ends here. So I think we're going to have to be a little bit of a cleanup to do. It seems to have, um, yeah, had a bit of a mess up. Otherwise, uh, liking it. It's, it's done a good job on here and should be finished in the not too distant future. We're about halfway through this now. We've got about 60,000 left to get into the BGA. I think this is uh, load six, if I remember correctly. So yeah, pretty much halfway through with this out of both. We've got 53,000 left in the fermenting silo. And we got 58,000. Uh, uh, actually, we're nearly full in the BGA. So I'm going to have to start the BGA processing this in order to actually uh, make sure we've got enough space. So we'll activate the silage processing. I was going to do that overnight, um, but uh, I think that it's best just to keep it going. And while that's processing some of that through, uh, what we want to do is go and sort out our cedar, which has already finished that field. I think with this, we can probably take on bigger fields. We definitely have the space to be able to do that uh, and the speed with this to be able to do that. We could have, we could have possibly done one field here rather than two. Uh, what I do need to do uh, before we go and continue is just clear up these patches. Uh, it's only used half of this to do this field, which is amazing considering how much I thought it was going to need. That bodes very well for us getting a spring crop in. And considering how well the sorghum has done uh, in our mill by the looks of things, uh, I think that is going to be the way to go with the second field. Uh, do winter wheat and sorghum, and uh, that will work very nicely for us. We can prepare the field next time for seeding. And as I was saying last video, I think what we're going to do is try and get as much through next time as possible. Process things as they come. And then skip a couple of months, uh, make sure that we get everything in, and uh, and make sure that we can at least cover our ultimate target on this series. And as far as our ultimate target goes, I think uh, what I'm going to do is aim to make pancakes. I've never done pancakes on a series. I was talking about it possibly us doing cakes, but I've done cakes before. Whereas I think doing pancakes on here uh, would be really interesting. So I've downloaded Yossa's uh, Pancake Factory and we are going to get a limited number of cows, uh, a limited number of chickens, just to give us a few eggs, uh, a little bit of milk and a little bit of butter. Uh, we've actually got a small dairy I can put on the farm as well that's fairly inexpensive. And uh, the plan is by the end of next year to be making pancakes, uh, funding all the construction of everything we need uh, with this year's crops and, uh, and the next uh, year or so's worth of silage. I think that is going to be the best way for us to go and uh, it will be a really interesting way of finishing off this series. So let's just get this round and down there like that. We've got the bottom corner to sort as well. And then that is this field cleaned up. And once we've finished transferring over the remaining silage into the BGA, uh, we'll be able to come and roll this. We're going to be left with about one and a half thousand litres in the fermenting silo. We've got 14,500 in there at the moment. We're going to get one more load out. We still have quite a, lo uh, quite a lot to process. So uh, there's a, a decent amount still to go through. 
which is all good but our first lot should be paying us in a minute uh, we've got 51,000 litres of electricity. How you measure electricity in litres, I don't know. But 50, 52,000 that's going to pay. And there we go. We're up to 31,518. Uh, that is brilliant. Uh, we are well on the way. So we're going to end up, as I uh, suspected, with about 60,000 from this load of silage that is a, a massive increase over the last time we cut these fields uh, last time we cut these fields i think we were lucky to get 10 to 15 so uh yeah we got a huge increase in yield off these fields having plowed them and replanted them uh, and it's gonna be very very interesting to see how much we get off there next month i don't think we're going to be able to get a full load of fertilizer on them unfortunately yeah there we go the last 1581 liters so i think we're going to be down because of that i think we're going to be down as well uh, because uh, we're not letting it fully grow i would love to compare it when it's fully grown but that, uh, that I don't think is going to happen either. So I'll bring this in and park it up. Actually, this could go in the shed these days. We've got that shed there. It's not used for anything else. We might as well put this under cover. We, the one other thing I would like to get undercover, I can't get undercover here. Then we need to get another lean-to because we need somewhere to put the combine and we need somewhere to put the cedar. So that is on our list. There we are. Uh, we'll give this a wash and uh, a bit more fuel. And then, yeah, we're going to have to get the roller out on it. And go and roll that newly seeded field. And because we want to turn that around today and get that done, I think we're going to end up with about 60,000 at the end of today. So uh, next time, I think we'll probably end up building the bakery. And, uh, well, uh, to be honest, I could build the bakery right now if I wanted and start that stuff processing. But I don't want to proud too much in for now uh, let's go and roll this field get this wheat in properly and we can go from there because it's not even midday yet we get to see if all of these stones disappear again and i think they're all still small stones we're gonna go round. we're not gonna lift this so we're gonna do this in a realistic way I'm amazed at how much we've got achieved in so little time today. That has uh, that has been a big boon. And then to be able to get out and do some field work myself is excellent. And yeah, those stones are going. So as long as we overlap, we'll be fine. I actually think this is one of the more profitable series I've done. I don't ever remember having so little land and and making this kind of money on a on a regular basis off such little land we've we've always ended up making good money a lot of the time but, but never quite like this uh this is more than enough to keep us afloat keep us bringing in stuff that we want uh, as i said i think i'd very much like to get that herbis dump trailer if that's still there and we'll probably have a look at the end of this because that would go really well with our combine uh, i know we've got a, i know we've got a really good trailer already a trailer i quite like i'm not a huge fan of it not tipping when i come to tip the uh, tip the actual grain out of it so i'm still of two minds about whether to actually get it uh it would tip about the same amount from our silo it's one of those things where I think I've talked myself into and out of getting that trailer multiple times so far. Uh, what we will have a look at today, though, as I said, is our bakery and maybe get that in place. Uh, with the money we've got, we should be able to place that. We might be even able 
to start getting some animals uh, on here too, uh, I think. Uh, the other thing we might try and do today is if we got a load of digestate from the stuff that we're processing at the moment, the silage we're processing at the moment, might be a really good idea to get that on the grass fields and get those as fertilized as we're going to be able to. Because, yeah, we're not going to be able to get two stages fertilized on them, unfortunately. Uh, but we should be able to get at least one. And with this row done, I'm going to go around the field a couple of times just to catch all of the uh, bits we miss as we do the turn. Should work fairly easily for that. Uh, get the little bit of stones that we missed there. Take this up here. Uh, nothing missed on this side. Um, but we should be able to go down the far end. Oh, in fact, yeah, I'm going to have to go round this end again. And we'll finish in, we'll finish in that top corner, I think. Basically where I'm looking to end up, which isn't too bad. And yeah, this is my four combine or yeah, my, my three combine headlands fit rather nicely into how I'm doing this. And then bring this here and this will be my last headland and we'll finish up back in that bottom corner. There we go. Everything done and dusted and our money is actually ticked over to 62,853 just from that single run of silage off those two fields uh, that is excellent that is absolutely brilliant we've got our uh, wheat in as well so i'm very happy with that so back to the yard and uh, we'll see what else we can do today because we're in a position where we can so we're still processing flour out of here let's have a look at what we can purchase with this 62,000. From a production side of things, I have added in a couple of mods. I got a couple of bakery ones. Lots of comments saying, oh, use the uh, use the mods of the mod hub and, and not necessarily the base game ones. So we got these two bakeries here. We've got a 30,000, which will, wow, which has quite a lot of um which is quite useful uh we need to have access to the back of it we don't need access to the front of it though uh or other than to put that stuff but that wasn't the one i was after the one that i wanted to use is this this i think looks nicely rustic and should work quite well don't know where the actual inputs and outputs of this one are though i don't know if they're inside or outside so we might have a, a bit of fun with it uh we can put it if i need access to the back of this i'm gonna have a problem i think we can possibly put this down here in the tree line yeah that would go right there this is fifty thousand. is the only problem so this is going to take up most of our cash uh, i do think it fits so much better with what we have here though so i am gonna grab this how much actually is the pancake factory because we don't need a huge amount pancake production is fifty thousand. Oh, that might be a better way to go actually Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can uh, trust to do that straight off like that. What do I need access to? Uh, front. Do I need access to the back? I need access to the back to tip. But we need. To, we're gonna need milk, butter, and uh, eggs. So let let's hold off on the pancakes for now. Let's have a look in the animals. We need a small cow pasture, so I'm going to have to go and find one of those. But sh uh, chicken pastures for 5,000, that holds 100, that holds 40, and that holds 80. 
I don't know if we can get the chickens running straight off. Oh, does this match the one that's over here at all? Cost to demolish the existing chicken coop is 1,080. So, yes, we will do that. And then we have to remove the fence around it as well. That's quite good. I, I quite like that. We have to defence the whole thing. I think that's got it all. We'll then put a chicken coop in. And yeah, I'm going to go with this one for 5,000. Are we overlapping with the fence? Do we have fence over there? No, but we do have these little bits and pieces. So uh, we'll have to see if we can delete those separately as well. Those are not separately deletable. So I'm going to have to just place over the top. So we'll go V and place it right over the top like so. Be nice if I got rid of those old bits and pieces uh, when it did that. And then we can buy some chickens. So let's go with... We can put 60 in here for 3,000. So I'm going to buy that. Yes. Okay. And then what I want to do is in our productions here, do we have any sorghum left? We still have 4,500 litres of sorghum. So we will stop that. We'll deactivate that. Uh, we can then go and grab our David Brown and give the chickens some feed. And uh, and that should keep them going for a while, I think. Which is why it's useful having the sorghum about. Yes, we're not going to max out the amount of flour we get from the sorghum. Uh, but we already know pretty much we've, we've got more flour out of that sorghum than we got out of the oats amazingly and it had a higher yield as well what i can do here is just put the remaining sorghum into this like so and we can use this to feed the chickens and get the chickens running i don't know if they need water in this uh they might do so we might have to sort that as well we still have fifty thousand left the so back this up to the chicken coop and it will take the sorghum. Fantastic. How much of it will it take? It will take all of it. So that works fairly well for us. That will give us a load of eggs. Uh, now all we need to do is uh, sort out some cows so that we can have some milk. And we can have some butter. So now we've got the chickens in, we might as well go the whole hog and get the cows as well. Uh, we've got this cow barn here. I really quite like this. Uh, I think this would fit in fairly well here. If I could get it to sit in this space. Is that a good place for this? I think that might be a good place for this. What I need to go and do is move some of the equipment out of the way first. So let's just move that. I think I know a better place to put this equipment. So I'm going to go and place that over there. If I could place it further back, I'd like to, but it would get blocked its entrance uh, by uh, the chickens. So... We'll move this stuff out of the way. There's plenty of space down this corner to do this. We can make more money, actually, by selling off the manure that we've got in this corner as well. So there's still there's still a lot of ways in which we can make more cash around here to, uh, to help fund this lot even further. And that's the last one there. Disconnect that, move this out the way, and then we can go and see if this cow barn will actually fit in this space. Will it actually fit here? Will it let me do it? Or is it going to be like last time where we're going to have to... I think we're going to have to place this with V again. I think it's these wires. I think it's the electricity wires that interfere. Uh, 
they they seem to be at a place where it would cause a problem and we'll press v because it's not going to place it otherwise and down it goes we do have a little bit of an oddity here and i think we'll just clean that up quickly so landscape painting and i want grass yeah just a little bit of that in this corner here that works like that and then uh a little bit of that along here like so just to square things up looking nice we need to get some cows in here as well uh so i think so animals that are healthy and older than 18 months can be produced so we're only going to really start producing milk at 18 months so we'll start with just uh five cows producing a little bit of milk for us uh, in fact, let's take this up to 10,000. That will be about perfect. Uh, that is, there we go, 9,900. That is six cows. We will buy those and get them delivered. That's uh, six cows starting us off as well. We're going to have to get a little bit of feed for them. Once they start producing milk, we can buy the dairy. And uh, we might be able to even put... I wonder, actually, we do have the dairy on here. So I think if I get... If I got that, will that fit? Oh, wow. Yeah, we can we can place the dairy right there. In fact, in fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place this right now. It's 10,000. That will leave us with 8,000. So again, V and down. So dairy there sitting right in front of our uh right in front of our cow shed. And yeah, that is a nice compact little area. I love that. Uh, that is gonna do us really well. So the only thing we still need to buy then is the pancake factory. And that is what we'll be aiming for, is to get the pancake factory in. Uh, to start making some pancakes and making some money from that. Uh, we've not gone. I wasn't going to go down the animal route. And we're not going down the animal animal route massively. Um, just enough to get us started uh, with the ingredients we're going to need to make pancakes. I want to make pancakes and we've now got ourselves nicely set up at the end of this year to do just that there is one more job i need to do today and that is hooking this up to our slurry spreader and getting some uh digestate done on our grass fields so i'm gonna do that uh, there's not really an awful lot else to get done here today. So, as this is something we've done a fair amount before, I'll get this done off camera ready for next time. Uh, we're also going to have to sort out some feed for our cows. So, uh, we will sort that out next time as well, I think. For now, though, I'm going to leave this here. So, all that remains is for me to say... Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.